Hi, I've just discovered a great little tool that will colorize black and white photographs for you. It's from a site called Algorithmia and the URL I've put into the video so that you can see exactly where it is. There are two ways that you can use this product. You can either link directly to an image that's available on the web or you can upload a photograph for yourself. So I'll choose photograph and upload it and we can see how it works. So we'll go to upload. I'll find the photograph in my collection that I want. And it's done the job. And you can see there's a little scroll bar and we can go from the original black and white through to the colorized version. It's not perfect, but having spent a lot of time colorizing photographs myself, I know just how difficult it is to get this right. And this is doing really well. It seems to work for me better with landscape images than it does with people. But I'll show you another landscape and then show you one or two people. This is a postcard, the fully black and white version and then the colorized version. It doesn't work terribly well if you've got sepia colors, um, but other than that, it's really quite clever. I don't think it works quite so well with individuals. Here's uh, General Robert E. Lee from the American Civil War, and his face really hasn't changed that much except giving it a slight tinge. And you can see there's quite a lot of color that's missing around the right arm there. But nonetheless, it's still not at all bad. If you want to find a URL that's available on the web, I'll show you how to do that. Having found the image that you want, you simply need to paste it in to the bar here, and then click Colorize. And there we go. Once again, it's not perfect, but it is a very quick and easy way of doing something that would otherwise take literally hours. I did this exact picture and it took several hours to get something similar to this. So quick bit of colorization can work really nicely. Just for interest's sake, this is the version of the picture that I created I did distress it a little bit, so it's not quite an exact match, um, but this took me an awful lot longer than what we've just done. So that was my version and the colorized version. So what could you do with this? A myriad of uses, I think. If you've got people that have got black and white images and they'd like them colorized, bring them into the library, do that for them. Uh, give yourself a real feel for what the uh, Second World War or the First World War was like, for example, by colorizing all of those black and white images, taking uh, black and white images from postcards. If they are sepia, I would suggest that you scan them and then turn them black and white before taking them through this process. Um, so lots and lots of different things you can do. Really simple, very straightforward. Once you've got the image, you can then uh, download it as well. So it's a great little tool from Algorithmia.